Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to another beer review. We have some beers from Denmark and I am fired up. Why am I fired up? Because these beers were brewed by and sent by my man, Peter, the master of hobbits. I've been watching Peter review beers as long as I can remember. Um, and he became the head brewer at uh, Bad Seed Brewing, they are called. Um, and we, he and I have been talking about his beer recently and he sent me a message and was like, hey, I'm gonna send you some beer. So he sent me a box of beers. I wanted to drink them um, and just see what we thought. I know it's kind of random since these are, um, you know, from Denmark. I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure what the availability on these are. I think they have a web shop, but I don't know if they ship internationally. But anyways, um, I wanted to drink both of these. So the first um, beers that I decided to drink, by the way, the can art of these are fantastic. Um, these are both modern, what the label says, modern West Coast IPAs. This one is called Slice of, Shun Slice of Sunshine. And this one is called NZ Slice of Sunshine. So this is kind of a variant of this beer and I thought it'd be fun to drink them side by side. Um, these are both 7% alcohol by volume. Um, Slice of Sunshine says modern West Coast IPA hopped with Nelson, Citra, and Mosaic, three of my favorite hops of all time. And then the NZ Slice of Sunshine is a double dry hop that says with Rewaka, Nelson, Kohia Nelson, and Nelson Sub-Zero Hopkeef. So tons and tons of New Zealand hops it seems in this one. So uh, brewed and canned by Bad Seed Brewing, it says there it's a product of Denmark. Um, these cans have, I think, the yeah, best before. Um, this one is May 12th of 2024, and this one is June 10th of 2024. So not sure the shelf life they're given these. I'm guessing it says, let's see here, Best Buy package 12 months. But So Best Buy package 12 months before Best Buy. I don't know what that means. Were these canned a year before this? So is this, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Whatever. <laughs> That's what it says. I didn't, I, I should have read all this stuff before I started. Sorry, Peter. So um, I figured we would start, let's start with Slice of Sunshine. Uh, you guys know I'm a big uh, West Coast clear beer guy. I know Peter is too. So um, it's fun to be drinking beer that he brewed. Uh, he and I, his last trip out here to the States, hung out at Pizza Port. We drank beers. I mean, I felt like we hung out for a while, a couple hours. It was just so fun. It was fun meeting him um, and hanging out with him in real life. He's exactly how he is on camera. Super cool guy. Um, just a rad dude. So stoked to drink his beer. So yeah, this beer is crystal clear. Uh, it is that bright kind of sunshiny color. Um, I don't know, quarter finger of a bright white head. It seems to be dissipating quickly. I would guess it's just heavily hot. Maybe that's the hop oil that's not having the head retention stay. Plenty of carb in the glass. Looks awesome. Yeah, 7% is my wheelhouse these days. Clear beer. Let's see what it smells like. This smells super, super tropical. Lots of uh, tangerine. Like, this is very citra forward for me. There's a good amount of dankness, too. I wasn't expecting it to be this dank. I know Peter likes dank beers. Um, I just find when people try and recreate West Coast IPAs, they don't get as dank as I'm used to, you know, drinking all these beers in San Diego. But yeah, it's got that earthy kind of dusty Nelson thing. It's got a cool, just like sourdough bread crust, like sweetness, but tons and tons and tons of just like bright tangerine uh, orange zest, very zesty. It smells awesome. Cheers, Peter. Thanks, bro. Ooh, that, I didn't smell it as much. That's heavy Nelson, super Nelson forward. Uh, very vinous, very earthy. Wow, that's a ton of Nelson. How come I didn't smell it as much? The nose is actually, I think now that I've tasted more Nelson, it smells more Nelson forward. But the nose was like super tangerine-y. This is very like vinous white wine grapey. That is awesome. Just bright, hoppy, that that sourdough like bread crust sweetness we were smelling. It's there on the finish, but so much Nelson Funk. That's delicious. I'm guessing that the NZ 
slice of sunshine is going to be super crazy Nelson forward. So that's that's great. We'll come back to that. There's like that bitterness too. It lingers. That's definitely a West Coast IPA. Um, I think this has a little bit more just with the like the dank and the bitterness. It almost like there's a little bit of like um, like a resinous, like cushy thing that reminds me of like that old school kind of um, West Coast thing, which is rad. This pours out, it looks the exact same. That's kind of why I wanted to drink these side by side. Cause this looks, yeah, it looks the same in the glass, same thing. Just that bright kind of sunshiny, gosh, this <laughs> I just washed this glass out. Uh, this one's got uh, a bigger head solid finger a fluffy bright white head and tons and tons and tons of carb in this glass more so than that one so let's smell this yeah <laughs> this is so much fucking nelson <laughs> if dude if people did not like nelson i'm sure they would be offended by the nose of this it is so vinous white grapey and earthy there is it like a tropical um vibe to this too but this is just so much fucking nelson what is it nelson sub-zero hop keef i have no idea what that means <laughs> but it, it smells <laughs> it smells like i mean the keef that i know is from you know weed and this definitely has like that intense like herbal herbaceous dank like keef thing but it's just fucking so much nelson it doesn't smell like much else. It smells awesome. <laughs> Cheers. There is actually a nice bit. I thought this was going to be like just intensely crazy over the top Nelson. There's plenty of Nelson funk to that. Um, but there is a good bit of tropical, like bright stone fruit. But this one too. This has a, like, it's just super hot forward. If this can is right, the way this is printed, this says packaged 12 months before Best Buy, which means this would have been packaged in May of this year, which means this is eight months in the can. There's no way that can't be right because this is so fucking hot forward still. That, that, that can't be right. Is that right, Peter? I don't know how you would have a eight month old beer taste this hoppy still. This is so green and it, it is, it's like when you grab a bunch of grapes from a store and you smell it, I've always talked about like tomato vine too, cause tomato vines are so intensely like chlorophyll green. This has that. You have to love Nelson though, to love this beer. See this one now that I've, now that I've smelled that one and I'm smelling this one, this one's got much more like tropical um, notes to it than I got just smelling it on its own before. After smelling this, <laughs> this is crazy. These are both awesome. Yeah, this has a, the, the, the tangerine that we were smelling before comes out a lot in this now, especially after drinking this one. These are awesome. Um, good representation of the style these are saying modern west coast ipas i think and this i think too because peter grew up drinking west coast ipas i think this this has a west an old school west coast ipa influence to it obviously not by the color it's not that crazy like crystal malty thing um but all the hop saturation that you're getting the long lingering bitter finish is fucking awesome just like stays on your tongue it honestly feels like I've been chewing on like hops. That's awesome. You know what? Might as well, right? For science. I really hope that you guys in Denmark are drinking these beers and enjoying them because these are awesome. This cuts down the heavy, heavy Nelson presence of this for sure. It's really good Kuwait too. These are great. These are fucking awesome. Um, if you like West Coast IPAs, these will be your jam. Um, I don't know. I have no idea what the beer scene like. This beer scene is like over there, but um, 
it definitely needs more beers like this. This is great. Super stoked to drink these. So um, he sent a couple stouts and a couple pilsners too, which I'm looking forward to. But I wanted to drink these first since these were the hoppy ones. Um, so definitely be some more Bad Seed videos coming. Um, Peter, if you'd like to just comment down below and you know let us know about more about your brewery, um, if people can get these beers, I'm not sure. Um, and if you're not, you have to be subscribed to his channel if you're not, or if, if you're watching my videos, because he's one of the OG, OG beer reviewers. So um, that's it. Good first impression from Pad Seed. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.